Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's your favorite part-time YouTuber, Crow, and we have another one. It's 2024, and how many of these people are being exposed right now? Now, listen, this situation, I, I don't think is anywhere near as bad as the Chris Tyson stuff, but at the same time, we have somebody... And I'm going to be very clear. I've tried to look into the actual age of this Chris person um, because at the time he was either 19 or 21. I'm going to be 100% honest. I don't really care about a relationship between a 19 and 17 year old. I understand red flags and yada, 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 but your age gap, I, I personally don't care. Um, but if it's if he's 21 and he's messaging a 17 year old for your age gap, it's it's getting to a more dicey territory. But it's one where he seems to acknowledge that it's wrong to him, but then he continues to go along with it. If you think what you're doing is wrong, don't don't and do it. Um, now, the other part of it is Kai Senate has just completely disowned his cameraman, uh, Chris, over this. Uh, the allegations came out. He fired up a stream and he just said it's inexcusable. There's no defending it. So I don't know how much more Kai knows about the Chris situation, but it's crazy because this is this is another Chris who's being exposed for doing inappropriate things with now, let me read through um, what we have here. So this is this girl's message to Kai. Hi, Kai. I recently seen a clip about you speaking on the Ava Mr. B situation. I wanted to let you know that Chris, your cameraman, is definitely a PO too. I remember coming across him on Ome TV while I was on Discord sharing my screen to my friends. They told me that his name is Chris and that he is AMP's cameraman. I said, hi, Chris which got his attention because he was curious how I knew his name. He asked for my age. I lied, said 19 because my friends told me to, and I just went with it. He asked for my Insta. I gave it. As soon as he DM'd me, I told him my real age because I know it's not really cool to lie about that. And from there, I thought he was going to stop answering, but then it led to him being down for one versus one on COD, which I thought was fine. Later on, it turned out to him being flirtatious and then texting me while shit you shouldn't say to a mom. During this time, I just turned uh, 17. I am now 19. This happened uh, December 2021 to February, March 2022. I will gladly show you all the screenshots I have to prove this. We also used to FaceTime. I remember there was a time he passed the phone to you and I was telling you that I could also beat you on a 1v1. I don't know if this helps to remember me. So like, like I said, I, I'm, I'm always going to be very cautious on any story where the minor admits they lied about their age, especially if it's to initiate contact. Now in their messages, I can see where they told this dude what their age was. And I can see that he continues to like try to say, them after the fact but I, I've got a problem if you're telling me you think it's wrong but you're gonna do it anyways you, you know what I mean maybe he's not a pedo but like at the same time I 100% respect Kai for cutting all contact with this guy and and removing him and honestly, honestly, I wish Jimmy from Mr. Beast had the balls to actually do this. But, you know, he, he did. He spent a week and then he started to try to cover up evidence. Now, these are the messages, okay? And I don't know where, uh... Like, like what started before this message? December 15, 2021, I wasn't kidding. I actually want to get to know you. And then they say, ah, LMFAO, you cool, but respectfully, I'm actually 17. My friends told me to say I'm 19, but you know, I got to let you know the truth. Now nah, that's crazy. I respect you telling me though, no cap. Yeah, I don't want to do you like that. You cool though, good vibes. I was actually serious though, if you was 19. LMFAO, uh, you had me confused though. And then they continue to like flirt with the girl. I, I, I'm looking at, I'm going, I, I want to be consistent. I, I, I wish I knew how old Chris was in these messages because if he's, if it's literally like a two year age gap, it's that whole call me Carson situation. I, I don't personally care. I'm, I, 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 I'm making the video on it only because Kai has confirmed these messages are all real and he's cut all contact with Chris over it. And this just happened last night, but you can keep reading through them. This part, I don't think matters all that much because we can see it does match up with the story that they said, which is good. Um, we can see that they continue to chat and this is all, um, what, what, what date was this again? December 15th, 2021, when this conversation takes place and they let Kai know, or sorry, they let Chris know what their age is. Now from here, these are the messages uh, Chris has sent over 
uh, to the girl. And I'm not going to read through them. Um, uh, you, you can pause it. You can read through them yourself. But she flags one of these messages as January 1st, 2022. So it seems to me that after finding out the age, after saying, oh, you know, seriously, if you're 19, they, uh, they, they, uh, they go all in. And I I'm wondering if if Chris does have more messages to provide more context because realistically we're we're missing a lot of the conversation here but according to Kai Senate he's seen all of her messages and he's verified them. So this is an article written by uh, Dexerto. Kai Senate confirms cameraman's underage scandal in tearful stream no excuse. And I I think they actually have the video here so um, I, I, we can probably play the beginning of that. Shit happened. And shit come up my name every time, bro. I get connected in situations. Come relax, bro. Apparently in 2021, this nigga, this nigga was caught talking to somebody that's not the age of consent. Nigga, it gets bad because she lied about her age. She said she was 19. She lied about her age. She ended up saying her age. Said she was 17. Right then on the, right then on, right at that moment, you're supposed to stop texting. Right at that moment, you're supposed to drop all conversation. Anything that's below, that's below the age of consent, you're not supposed to talk to them. It is not cool. You're not supposed to talk to them. You're not supposed to do anything. But just realistically, he's confirming that the messages are legitimate, that he's spoken to um, the alleged victim here, and that he says there's zero excuse for Chris. So to me, Kai would kind of be the one that uh, I, I would go for information here on only because he's known this Chris character for a longer period of time. He's like, absolutely not. I'm done with this. Get away, get away, go away, go away. Uh, you're completely done with my channel. But that's the appropriate thing to do if you see messages with an adult friend of yours who is messaging a minor. I I, I, I can appreciate the, the more decisive action, unlike with the Mr. B situation where he let it sit for about a week, then cuts ties after going through and trying to scrub his own life clean. So yeah, I, I, I appreciate this approach by Kai. So he goes, I have, I had a whole different schedule. I had a whole eight to 10 hour stream plan said it began very distraught. I don't know how much more I can take. This shit is so fucking dumb. My camera and Chris in 2021 got caught talking to a minor who was 17 years old. Said it slammed his setup before confirming further details about the situation. She lied about her age. She said she was 19. She ended up saying her age, she was uh, 17 right at that moment you're supposed to stop texting you can't have an excuse for this i reached out to the person she showed me every single thing it's confirmed i'm sick and tired of having to do shit like this so there you go um again i i want to know how old chris was at the time just because i've been told he was 19 or 21 or maybe older just so i know exactly how bad this thing is but I think Kai is correct. The minute you, the minute as an adult, the person that you are talking to tells you that they, uh, that they are a minor, you need to stop all contact. Okay, like you know, I, I'm not gonna say mistakes happen, but like this girl clearly lied about her age. That's why she got in touch with Chris. That's why he engaged. The minute she tells you you're se that she's 17 and you're doing it because you want to hook up with this girl, you need to stop talking to them. Okay, like you, you. you really should stop talking to them, especially if it was immediate, right? Chris found out almost immediately. So you can't really hide behind the whole, well, I didn't know her age and she lied about it because the minute you got into those DMs, she said it immediately and then you continued to sex with her. So yeah, listen, uh, a lot of respect to Kai for, for uh, condemning it outright and cutting all ties. This is what most people should do when when someone they know is caught in a situation like this. Anyways, guys, you let me know what you think in the comment section below. Um, I, I assume there's probably going to be a little bit more to this story. And if there are updates, I will follow up on it.